Are you curious about sublimation or interested in seeing how it works? Well, tune into this week's episode of Make It Monday where we work on a set of Christmas towels. I'm going to show you how quick and easy sublimation can be. everyone, I'm Jessica with JC Creative, and if this is your first time here, I would like to welcome you. If you love DIY projects, anything from tumblers to teas, we do a little bit of everything for everyone, and I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel below, and be sure to ring the little bell to be notified of new tutorials we post each and every Monday. So in this week's episode of Make It Monday, we're going to do something a little bit different. We've been doing a lot of Tumblr tutorials. We did some welcome signs, some wreaths, and I've had a lot of questions on how I make some of the things I do. And one of the processes that I use is called sublimation. Some of you guys um, know about this. Some of you use it. Others don't. Um, there are some things that you need to accomplish sublimation. So I'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown on the basics of sublimation. So to start off, sublimation is a process that you can use to print on anything that's polyester based. Fabrics, um, there's some substrates you can print on that are polyester, but it has to be polyester based. So when you're talking about printing on t-shirts and things, there's a, a, some tried and true methods on how to get stuff on fabric. Um, first would be screen printing, which is a process, a, a kind of a photographic process where you create a screen, you squeeze ink through that, you put that on your surface of your material. Um, it's normally used for bulk orders, like large orders, 50, 100 more t-shirts, same print over and over and over again. You can do multicolor screen printing by layering. It's, um, it's a messy process. Most home people don't really use screen printing. However, um, if you have a large order of t-shirts and you want to do some something that's a little bit cheaper, you can buy um, screen print transfer. So this is a transfer I did. I did a bunch of these for a 4-H club um, and I bought a few hundred of these. They come pre-ready and all I need is my handy heat press to apply them on. So this has like an adhesive material. You print, you know, you press it. It comes on your t-shirt. Any t-shirts you feel that kind of have a texture to them, chances are they've been screen printed. Then you have a more common process, which is HTV. A lot of you home folks do that. If you have a Cricut in the heat press, you've probably dabbled in some HTV. So here would be an example of something that's HTV. So um, this is heat transfer vinyl. I put, cut it, put it on that bag. Um, it has a little bit of a feel to it. Um, you are limited to whatever colors come in the rolls, and you have to each color is, is an individual. Each color is an individual piece that you press on there. Um, so then there's sublimation. So sublimation, if you have a soft t-shirt and there's no feel to the print, chances are it's sublimation. And you'd be surprised how many things in your world have been sublimated. You can sublimate coffee mugs, ornaments, keychains, bag tags, um, pillows, picture frames, all kinds of things can be um, sublimated as long as they have that polyester base to them. So this is a polyester shirt. I sublimated this on there. It's a really simple process. You do need a special ink um, and with a printer with special ink and then you need a heat press um, and then your polyester substrate so today we're going to go ahead and do some towels together I want to show you guys how easy it is to sublimate um, how quick it is there's no weeding involved it literally you make your design you print it out in reverse you flip it on your thing you press it and we're done so today we are going to work on some towels together so the print setup that I use, I have an Epson 7710 with sublimation inks. It is a cheaper startup. Um, there are lots of printers out there. Some range in, you know, two, $3,000 to get you started. There are people who swear by those printers. Um, uh, this is my second Epson and I love it. Um, it'll cost you around $250 to $300 to get that printer up and running for sublimation. And then I have, um, I just have a 12 by 15, um, eBay heat press that I bought several years ago. It's been a workhorse for me. Um, everything I do, I've been able to do with this. Um, my next purchase probably will be a bigger one because I want a bigger surface, but for today's purposes, that's all I need. If you don't want to invest in a printer and getting sublimation started, but you want to try it out, you can buy sublimation prints. So there's lots of websites that sell them. Well, you know, I have some on mine. But basically, you order your print, it comes in reverse, and you just take that print and you're going to put it on your on your towel. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on some towels. So I have five Christmas designs here, and we are going to use, these are 100% polyester microfiber towels. I buy these 
in bulk. Um, I sell tons of these. Um, I sell them $6 each, two for five, all day long at all my shows. Um, you can personalize them for people. Um, I put funny sayings on them, holiday sayings. Today we're going to work on some Christmas towels. So um, my towel comes in, you know, I get it out of my box. I fold it into thirds, which is how I would hang it on my stove. So that's how I want to put my design the way it would hang. So that it was on my stove. This is where my design is going to be. So I take my towel, I fold it into thirds. I do two towels at a time. Your press, I do mine 385 degrees for 60 seconds. So I have a piece of paper, just standard old copy paper, 11 by 17, that I lay on my press. And then I lay my towel down. And then I take my second one. Same thing. I kind of just make sure they're in the middle. My press is kind of older, so I don't know. It doesn't always heat evenly. So I make sure the center gets the most heat. So then I have my prints already reversed. So this one says it's not Christmas without cookies. I'm going to take that and lay it on here the way that I, the design is actually facing that way. It's kind of upside down, but because I, I want the words to read from top down. So this is my top of my design. This is my bottom of my design. Hopefully you can see kind of what I'm doing here. And then let's see, we'll, we'll take another one here, do the same thing. So this is my top, this is my bottom. I'm gonna lay it on my towel. And then you always, when you sew late, use cover sheets. So I'm gonna take a second piece of paper and lay that on top. And I'm gonna bring my press over. Push my design in here. and I'm gonna cook it for 60 seconds. So one minute is all it takes to do a press on a towel. Um, and when it comes out, um, it's full color, <coughs> no weeding or anything needed. So a lot of different subs, there are, are some other substrates you can press on. I make a lot of ornaments. So these like ceramic ornaments, I have MDF ornaments that we can that you can use too. So same thing. They come like this. They come coated with a polyester, and you can print and press on those. I sell a ton of ornaments. Um, let's see what else. Um, sequins pillows are big right now. I do. They're like color changing pillows, so you can sublimate on one side and press on those. Um, blankets. Anything that fleece is polyester based, so like fleece blankets, those kind of things. So let's see what we got here. When you take your thing off, I always hold the top sheet paper. <coughs> this one. I'm gonna remove this. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna take a light roller just to fluff my towel back up after it's been pressed. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> and here's what you got. So, here's our towel. Comes out, it's not Christmas without cookies. <clears throat> and then we have this one. Our first Christmas is Mr. and Mrs., which you can totally add someone's name. So super quick, super easy. Um, and again, I, you know, I sell lots of these. Um, it's a, I love doing towels. You can, I mean, the possibilities are endless on how many ever designs, you know, you want to do. Um, so if you guys want to try out sublimation, I'm going to throw a kit on the website and it's going to have <clears throat> all of these Christmas designs. So you have five Christmas designs and we'll throw five towels in there. So you guys can do your own. Um, give it a try. If you have a heat press, pretty easy. Let's do these other ones real quick so we can show you those designs. I do you reuse the top paper. Do this one. <clears throat> we 
We'll just fast forward through this weight real quick and we'll show the reveal here in a sec. Okay, let's see what we got. <clears throat> And I do apologize for this week's shorter tutorial. We've been doing a lot of cups, but I am in craft show mode. So I am going, <clears throat> this Saturday will be my third show in the last several weeks. It is crazy busy for us, but I wanted to make sure to get something out on the channel. And since I have to make a ton of these to sell, I figured, um, why not? I use sublimation to make a lot of the decals for my cups. I use sublimation to make t-shirts, blankets, all kinds of stuff. So here we have this one. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh, so I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, but if the white runs out, I'll drink the red. <clears throat> we have this one, let's see. The joy of family is Christmas. So what's cool about this is it's full color. So you can do gradients, all kinds of things. With vinyl, you're limited to whatever vinyl you have. Um, in screen printing, same deal. I mean, it's because each color is a different layer. It's really hard to achieve, you know, full color stuff. This is how most of your photo gifts are made. Um, <clears throat> ornaments, picture frames. Sublimation is how... Um, they print those photos and get it on all that good stuff for you. So this, if you're interested in sublimation, um, it was a game changer for me um, to add lots of stuff to my business. Um, there's tons of designs out there you can buy if you're not somebody who really <clears throat> makes all their own designs. Um, and there's just so many things that you can sublimate. I'm trying to look around to see what else I can grab to show you. Let's see. So let's see, um, I sublimate wine bags. This is one of those um, pillowcases. So see there's an initial on there and it just, you know, one side is gold, but the other side is the initial. So you can, I do lots of these for kids of mermaid designs, all kinds of designs. Um, so basically, let's see, lip gloss holders. Um, what else do I sublimate? I have some cutting boards I sublimate. Those are super pretty. Lots of photo frames, um, onesies, anything polyester. So I have onesies, t-shirts, socks, you really headbands. Um, so you really, there's a lot that you can use sublimation for. So if you've never tried it, um, it's super fun to do. Um, maybe you don't want to invest in that printer just yet. So I'm going to give you guys a kit so you can test it out. Oop, I lost your towels. <clears throat> and who needs mistletoe when you have wine? So five towels in a matter of what? I don't know. How long are we talking? Five, six minutes, something like that. So I do two at a time, 60 second press, 385 degrees. <clears throat> so in a half hour, you literally, you know, you could knock out a ton of these towels. They make great Christmas gifts. If I wanted to personalize them, I simply just print out the person's name and press it on there as well. So again, the rules are you need the special printer, you need sublimation ink, sublimation printer, you need a heat press, and you need polyester material. So um, this was just a quick tutorial in sublimation for those who've been asking some questions about it and how I make some of the stuff I do. I thought it'd be interesting to share. Um, so I'm going to put the links in the description for the towel kits. Um, I think I'll probably do a Christmas one, maybe a, a fall one. Maybe you have two choices if you guys want to. I have hundreds of designs. So I'll sort through, pick out a few of my favorites, um, put some kits on there. Um, you guys can download, you know, download them. I'll mail you the sublimation prints and then you guys can give it a whirl. See if you like it. And maybe that's something new you can add to your arsenal of things that you do. So um, <clears throat> we'll be back next week with probably a little bit longer tutorial. Um, 
I don't know what we'll be working on. We'll figure it out. But um, thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next Monday.